hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be a sewing tutorial and we are going to be learning how to make a crown back dress and also a crown neck dress so let us get right into this video so firstly we are going to rule out our shoulder line after ruling out your shoulder line then you mark out your horizontal measurements which is your bust measurement your waist measurement and then your hip measurement kindly note that this video is going to be as beginner friendly as possible so i might be a little bit slow or i might show all the processes so just let's enjoy this video So now I'm running my horizontal measurement. If you don't know how to draft a basic body pattern, you can just follow this process. So you draft a basic body pattern without a dart. We're not using dart in this tutorial. So now I'm taking my shoulder measurement. I use seven inches. Then I'm coming down by one inch for the shoulder slope. So I'm using 3 inches both horizontally and vertically for my neckline. So I'm going to use my curve ruler to curve it out. I'm going to join it with my shoulder slope measurement. Then after I'm taking my ammo which is my boss divided by 6 plus, plus 1.5. So that's 8.7.25 for me. So that's what I measured out. After I'm still going to take my shoulder measurement from that line so i'm going to take seven inches from that line so that it will be accurate with my shoulder line so after this i'm going to divide the arm over by two so that i'll be able to cover it out so that's about 3.5 there about so i'm going to use my ruler to mark it out to cover it out so now let's take our bust measurement this is my bust is 34.5 34.5 divided by 4 and i'm using 1.5 for the sewing allowance i did this for my waist also 29 point, 29 divided by 4 plus 1.5 allowance so just use your measurements divided by 4 the measurements are using divided by 4 i uh, you can use one inch for your mc um, allowance but i'm using 1.5 inch here So now I use my ruler to mark out this measurement. For a better curve, you can use your other a curvy side. Like I changed my the curve part of my ruler to mark it from my waist to my hip. To mark from my waist to my hip. So the dress I'm making is going to be a very long dress, but I don't have to make a very long pattern. I can just make it to my below my hips and i'll just place it on my paper and cut it down you see when we i do that in, later in this video so i'm just cutting out my my pattern this is the front pattern piece this is a just a very plain basic bodies pattern without a dart So now let us draft our back pattern. We'll do is the same thing as the front, but we're just adding a zip allowance. So I'm using I'm taking 1.5 for the zip. Mind you, I'm not using a zip in this my dress, but I'm just marking it down in case you want to make a dress with zip that's without the crowd back. You can just do this. But if you are not doing that, you can take off the zip part. I will still later fold it in, in, in this tutorial. So now I'm also taking my shoulder, my shoulder slope, my neckline. Now we're coming down by two inches and not three inches, but we're going um, horizontally by three inches. So this is almost the same thing we did for the front that we're doing at the back. Taking our bust, taking my waist and my hip measurement. So it's still the same front process. And the same arm O line also, just the same measurements we use in front is what we're using at the back in this tutorial. 
for this particular So now dress. I'm just really my vertical, I mean my horizontal measurement. Then I'm taking my 7.25 measurements for my ammo. Mind you, I added plus 1 inches because of the slope I came down. So let's say 8.25. So now I'm just making my lines more visible. So that is my bust, my waist, and my hips. So the same measurement I used for the front is what I'm placing at the back now. Plus the 1.5 M allowance. I'm also taking my shoulder measurement on this ammo line that I drew. So I'm going to rule the middle point and curve it back to the ammo line. So if you want to put zip on this dress, you are going to come in by half an inch on the waist so that your zip won't be like gaping so your zip will sit well on your back but me i won't be using zip for this tutorial so i'm still going to fold it in later in this video so now let's cut out our pattern i hope you are following and i hope you are understanding if there's anything you do not understand you can just drop it in the comment section and i would explain better to you so now i'm taking the middle of my arm o This is the front pattern now. I, so I'm taking the middle. This is the front pattern. So I'm taking the middle between. I'm marking really now the middle between the shoulder and the arm O. And I'm going to like cut it off. So if you want to use straps for your own um, dress, you can just, that part I cut off, you take the measurements and that will be the measurements for the front strap plus the same thing for the back. So now I'm really, where I marked out, I'm cutting my ammo line into two. I'm dividing it but not completely. You can see how it is in the video. So that's what is going to measure our crown neck used to form our crown neck so now i'm just trimming off that same part from now i'm trimming off i'm trimming it off from the arm o now so where i'm measuring is if you want to use a strap where you are going to put in your strap so you can just notch it on your part on your cloth when you're cutting it so now i divided my bust and waist the space between my bust and waist by two so i'm going to reel it and that's what i'm going to cut open you can see now i'm folding in my zip pass because i don't need it i don't need, i'm not putting zip in this dress so i'm folding it in so now let's trim it let's cut it open mind you are not cutting everything to the end i'm just cutting it and slashing it so that it will be able to open for a few by a few inches yeah so that's all for the back so now let's go and cut it on our so this is the paper i'm saying that you can just use you can just measure this paper for your strap in case you're putting straps so just measure the front and the back and just you use it for your strap yeah so you add the measurements and you use the measurement for your strap. Don't forget to add allowance when you are cutting your strap out. So now let's cut our pattern on our fabric. So I'm using this beautiful zebra print fabric to cut our dress. 
So just pin your pattern on your dress. Leave a little bit of space up because you are going to be opening the chest line side by few inches. So just pin your pattern properly to your clothes. Then I'm opening it by 3 inches. You can go as wide as 4, but I'm using 3 inches. You can go as wide as 4 or 5, depending on the size of the person I'm making this dress for. So me, I'm using 3 inches for this, my dress. So, then I'm marking 60 inches. This dress is going to be 60 inches, so I rolled it to 60 inches. I, my tapro, I use my tapro to mark 60 inches out. So, let us cut. So, once you just follow this process, trust me, your dress is going to come out really lovely. And for my dress, I put a slit by the side. So you can decide to cut your own, put a slit by the side or sew everything down. But it would be nicer to put a slit by the side just to ease your movements. So now I'm pinning the back. For the back, I used 4 inches. With, I used 4 inches. I opened the space by 4 inches there. Yes, I used 4 inches. So I just pinned it. So if you want your own to drop more, you can go as wide as 5 inches, 6 inches. That's totally, that totally depends on you. So I'm marking it to 16 inches also, but don't forget to add your allowance. Then I'm using the pieces to cut the strap. I'm just trimming out the other side that are not aligned. So I'll be using this piece for the strap. That's one strap. I'm going to cut another piece for the second strap. So now let's cut the facing for the dress. So I'm just placing this on another fabric, on the same fabric I mean. So the facing will be from the tip to the opening so you'll be able to put another material because you know it's going to drip down so you don't have to so you just have to finish it well basically to be honest it's just for a good finishing that's why we're using a facing i know when it's dripping so that it will not be showing the opposite side and to still show the normal fabric the original side of the fabric so i'm doing that for the front also so you cut the facing for the front so don't forget your facing don't forget your strap don't forget the facing for the back also so now i'm just cutting it out so you can just follow the step-by-step -step process of creating this dress if you want to sew something like this. And honestly, this did, this did not take time at all. You can make this dress in like two hours if you, two hours of not standing up from your machine. So I want to cut another strap just to elongate the other ones I cut. So now finish cutting our pieces this is the strap i've sewn the strap 
the strap is the first thing you are going to sew when you are starting this outfit so the straps first and these two little straps because you'll be needing it for the dress so now the part i pinned is where we are going to sew look at that notice that i put i've already put the straps at the extreme end of this cloth so this is how you are going to do so you just whip that bottom to make it to give it a good finishing so we are going to sew that part yeah we are going to sew it that way so 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 this is how it's looking now I've ironed it look at the straps so it's looking really nice now so look at the straps so just look at where we are putting the straps and this is the back also I have already sewn the back and I've given it a good press so this is where we are putting these two little straps just before we join the front and back together the armhole so we are putting those two straps there so you can see how it is looking at, looking like now so just look at it it's very very easy to make very easy to sew and it's a very lovely dress for a vacation or a brunch or something so we're just going to sew it straight so if you want a slit by the side you don't have to sew it to the complete side so now look at the finished dress look at how it is looking like now just take a look this is so lovely this is the back and i'm sure you've already seen the front at the beginning of this video so this is just how the back is looking like and it is so so nice i love this and i can't wait to rock this dress Thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, like, share, comment, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.